Unfortunately, as mindfulness grows more and more popular, there's an increasing number of misconceptions and misunderstandings about what it actually is. So I want to take you through the five most common misunderstandings about mindfulness. Now, the number one biggest myth about mindfulness is that it's meditation. That's completely false. There are zillions of ways of developing mindfulness skills, and meditation practices are just a tiny subset of the vast number of ways that we can learn to be more mindful. I can hear you breathing a sigh of relief about that. Now, the second big myth about mindfulness is that it comes from Buddhism. Now, that's false. There are actually mindfulness practices in all the world's religious traditions, going back thousands of years. There's mindfulness practices in Christianity, in Islam, in Judaism, in Taoism, in Hinduism. But the lovely thing about mindfulness is, in and of itself, it's not actually a religious practice at all. It's a, a mental skill set. Third on our list of mindfulness myths is that it's a type of relaxation, that when you're mindful, you're relaxed. Not the case. You can be mindful even in a really challenging, high-conflict situation, where you're full of anxiety, or full of anger, or full of sadness. You can still be mindfully engaged in the present moment, accepting of your feelings, living in the here and now even though you're nowhere near relaxed. Number four on our list of mindfulness myths is that it's a way of controlling our thoughts. It's about thinking positively and getting rid of negative thoughts. And that's just not the case. In mindfulness, we become aware of our thoughts. We allow our thoughts to come and go. We kind of wisely choose which thoughts we're going to allow to guide our actions and which ones we're going to just let go. But it's not a way to control our thoughts or to think positively. And last but not least, number five on our list of mindfulness myths is that mindfulness is a way to feel good, to feel happy, to feel positive. It's about controlling our feelings and feeling good. And that ain't the case. Mindfulness is a way to allow the natural flow of our emotions. If we live a full life, we're going to feel the full range of feelings and emotions, the pleasant ones such as love and joy, and the painful ones such as fear and sadness and anger and anxiety. And the aim is to allow all of those emotions to flow through us without getting swept away by them. So at times when we're mindful, we will be feeling good. And at other times, we won't.